kidney damage, nerve damage, eye damage, cardiovascular diseases, diabetic ketoacidosis are just some of the complications that come about due to uncontrolled blood sugar levels over a long period of time. But the good news is that you can totally control and prevent occurrence of these complications by simply uh, making sure you regulate your blood sugar levels, you are on a strict modified diabetic diet, you're exercising and taking your medications as recommended. On this channel, we give solutions to everyday nutritional problems. If you like this kind of cont uh, content, Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss out on the videos that I post. So kidney damage, what is the role of the kidneys? The role of the kidneys is to filter and remove waste products and fluids from your body. So what happens when you have extremely high blood sugar levels over a long period of time is that it, it damages the, uh, the tiny blood vessels in your kidney, reducing the kidney function. And when the kidney function is reduced, then you develop swelling. That, because, that is because of the fluid retention. You may develop confusion, nausea, and vomiting, and so on and so forth. So important to do is to make sure you maintain your blood sugar levels at a normal range. Maintain your blood pressures at a normal range because also high blood pressure is a risk factor to developing kidney problems. And also follow a, a strict modified diabetic diet, okay? I did a video on what foods to eat once you're diabetic. You can click and go and watch that video. Very, very uh, detailed in considering portion, portion control and also the foods you should choose from all the food groups that would help you maintain your blood sugar levels at a normal range. So the other complication is foot damage. And do you remember what I told, uh, we talked about wound healing in diabetes? So once you're diabetic and you have very high blood sugar levels over a long period of time, then you might lose sensation in your feet. And once you don't have sensation in your feet, you may not be able to feel for cut, for sores. You, you might develop wounds very, very fast because one, one, there is poor blood circulation. Number two, there's too much sugar in your bloodstream, providing a very good environment for infections, uh, for bacteria, hence infections take too long to heal. So what is important to do here is to maintain proper foot care every single day by washing your feet regularly. That means every day before bedtime, especially drying your feet very well, including in between your toes, putting on well-fitting socks. OK, not too tight. Also for the shoes, well-fitting shoes, uh, close shoes so that to prevent uh, the, the cuts and the development of the wounds. Also. In case you develop blisters and cuts, it's good to seek medical attention very, very fast. So with proper foot care, you're able to reduce your risk to amputations and all these wounds that take too long to heal to a very great extent. Number three is the diabetic ketoacidosis. And diabetic ketoacidosis always often affects people with type 1 diabetes. And what happens is that whenever you eat food, it gets into your body as glucose into your blood and then from your blood to the cells with the help of insulin okay, produced by the pancreas. But in type 1 diabetes, noted that there's no insulin being produced and therefore there's no sugar getting from your blood into your cells. Okay? So your body gets into a, into a condition where it starts to break down the fat and breakdown of fat leads to accumulation of blood acids, rather called the ketones. Okay, which may build up in your blood and even spill up into your urine. This is also a very uh, common symptom of pre-diabetes, which may lead to nausea, vomiting, polyuria, that is excessive urination, polydipsia, that is excessive thirst, which can be life-threatening. Okay, so important to do here is to regulate your blood sugar levels at a normal range. That means regular monitoring of your blood sugar levels strict dieting, that is the modified diabetic diet, and also um, avoiding insulin withdrawal without proper guidance, okay? Number four is cardiovascular diseases. Once you have high blood sugar levels, your risk for cardiovascular diseases increases drastically, and that is the high blood pressure, heart attack, stroke, and so on and so forth. What happens is that when you have high blood sugar levels, it may lead to hardening of the arteries. And hardening of arteries may reduce blood flowing to your brain, causing stroke, reducing blood flowing to your heart, causing heart attack, and so on and so forth, even high blood pressures. Also, in the, in the, same, in the same way, increasing your risk to other, other many, many complications. Okay, so as usual, maintaining a normal... Um, 
blood sugar levels by regular monitoring, maintaining a normal blood pressure, and also being on a strict modified diabetic diet would help you very much in reducing your risk to not only cardiovascular diseases, but also kidney damage, eye damage, nerve damage, food damage, and so on and so forth. If you have any questions concerning diabetes complications, leave your comments down on the section, on the comment section below. Like this video if you find it useful, share it to your friends and family, and thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, bye.